Hey, my dear detective, I've got a portion of new head-scratching riddles. Are you ready? Then buckle yeah. up! A foreign tourist came to a police station. He said, A guy with a tattoo and a long beard forced me to give him my wallet. The police officer told him, Don't worry, the criminal is one of these quintuplets. They've already been arrested. You just have to identify the one who attacked you. Look at these men. Can you help the tourist figure out who the attacker was? Not this guy. He has a tattoo on his left arm. Not this one. He can only use one hand. This guy has a short beard. This guy is wearing a cast, which leaves us with this man. Now, I've got a few Rebus puzzles for you to crack. How hard can it be? This Rebus is tasty. It stands for scrambled eggs. How about this one? It means misunderstanding between friends. Hmm, what could this mean? It's downtown. You're walking through the park when you hear footsteps behind your back and everything goes black. When you come to your senses, you find yourself in a dark basement illuminated by 15 burning candles. I'll set you free if you solve my riddle correctly. But if not, you won't ever leave this place. Oh no, there's uh -oh. someone in the shadows. You see 15 candles. I'll blow out six of them. How many candles will remain? What's going to be your answer? If you tell the mysterious person that six candles will remain, they'll let you go. After all, the rest of the candles will eventually burn down completely, all but the six which have been blown out. Someone stole expensive jewelry from Mrs. Doris's hotel oh, no. room. It happened around 6 a.m. When the police came, the hotel owner told them that there was a heavy snowfall early in the morning. It destroyed all the evidence. Suddenly, one of the police officers spotted an infamous criminal. He had been accused of committing several robberies, but always managed to get away with it. The man denied being at the hotel at the time. I only came half an hour ago, he claimed. The police officers immediately understood he was lying. How? There's a thick layer of snow on the criminal's car. If he had been driving to the hotel, there would be no snow on the hood. It would have melted or got blown away by the wind. And since it's sunny now, it can't be new snow. Clara was in her hotel room when she heard someone knock on her door. She looked through the people and saw an unknown man standing outside. He introduced himself. Hi, I'm the hotel manager. Sorry to bother you, but our database has crashed. Could you let me in to confirm some information? Clara immediately rushed to her phone and called the security. Why? The badge on the man's shirt says Chloe Smith, and that's a female name, which means the man is a fake manager. Damien had problems with money. That's why he had to sell the only valuable thing he had, an expensive painting of a 17th century artist. The man who bought it showed the canvas to his friend, a police detective. After looking at the picture attentively, the detective said that the painting was a fake. How did he figure it out? There are electric power lines in the picture, but they didn't exist in the 17th century. Now, look at these teachers. Can you figure out which of them is a millionaire? A, B, or C?
Ha! Tricked ya! It's actually not a riddle, but a mini psychological test. If you decided that Teacher A is a millionaire, you're amazingly energetic. You're also spontaneous and always ready to explore new places. If your choice was Teacher B, big noisy parties aren't for you. They can leave you emotionally drained. And if you thought the millionaire was Teacher C, you're a social butterfly and the soul of any party. So, how true is this? Tell me in the comments below. Yeah. Detective Thomas went camping with his friends. At one point, he went to get some firewood. When he got back, he saw one of his friends, Alice, lying on the ground unconscious. There were three other people in the camp. Julie, Alice's friend, Mary, Alice's sister, and Adam, Alice's boyfriend. Thomas asked all of them to show him their belongings. Look at their stuff and try to figure out who has something to do with the state Alice is in. It's Julie. If you look attentively, you'll notice a picture of Adam among her things. She must have a crush on him. She likely hurt Alice out of jealousy. Eve went on an expedition to Antarctica with a group of scientists. Three days into the expedition, Eve woke up and found out that all of her oh, no. colleagues were missing. The only thing she found was an envelope. Inside, there was a letter. Apparently, a crazy scientist had taken her friends, and now Eve could only save them by cracking his riddles. Here's the first one. How many months have 28 days? The number you'll get is the number of feet you'll need to walk before you start digging. Eve knew the correct answer. All 12 months have 28 days. She walked 12 feet and started digging. The next clue was waiting for her there. It was a bag with a book, a can of paint, a screwdriver, and a note that said that the scientist had locked Eve's friends in his lab in a cave. It didn't take Eve long to find the cave, but there were four entrances leading inside. Passage 1 was guarded by venomous spiders. Passage 2 had a huge and pretty aggressive monkey blocking the entrance. In Passage 3, Eve saw a mammoth. And at the entrance to Passage 4, there was a bottomless well. Uh -oh. Which tunnel should Eve choose? The third one. Mammoths have been extinct for thousands of years, so the animal the girl sees is likely a hologram. Eve entered the lab and saw a dog inside, but it wasn't a regular dog, it was a robot dog. Barking, it ran after Eve. The girl remembered she had a book, a can of paint, and a screwdriver in the bag she had found. What can she use to get rid of the robot? Eve should open the can with paint and throw it at the robot. Since the paint is liquid, it will likely cause the robo-dog to short-circuit. Eve breathed out in relief and started looking around. Suddenly, she saw a key on the floor. The girl picked it up and went to the next room. As soon as she walked in, the door closed behind her back. And a bizarre-sounding voice started to speak. In 15 minutes, toxic gas will fill the room. Your only chance to survive is to take the antidote before the gas is released. At this moment, Eve spotted a small box. She opened it and saw four pills and an instruction. Take four pills, one every 15 minutes. Will Eve have time to take all the pills before the gas fills the room? Yes, absolutely. The first 15 minutes will start after she takes the first pill. So taking four pills will take her 45 minutes. Eve got out of the room and finally found her friends, all tied up. She immediately set them free, but they needed to get out of there as soon as possible. They saw three doors leading outside. Behind the first door, there were hungry polar bears. Behind the second door, the air was so cold it was impossible to survive there. 
And behind the third door, there is a way steep lake with piranhas. Uh -oh. Which way should the friends choose? The third one. The lab is in an ice cave, remember? The water in the lake will be frozen. They will simply walk on the ice and get out of the cave. Freedom! Hey, Sherlocks, I really need your help here. So, take out your magnifying glasses and join me on this detective chase. Yeah. Look at this image. What's wrong here? These guys seem to be playing tennis, but they're using a tiny football. Now, how about these people? One of them is from the future. Can you figure out who it is? Be very attentive. Right, it's this guy. He's got a smartphone in his pocket. This looks like a regular picnic in the park, but one of these people is a time traveler. Who is it? It's the guy with a USB port in his arm. A sailor has a piece of fabric that is 16 feet long. He cuts two feet of this fabric per day. How many days will he need to cut the whole cloth? Your first answer might have been eight days, but in fact, the sailor will only need seven days. The last remaining piece of fabric will be two feet long, and the sailor won't need to cut it. Adam's car has broken down right in the middle of a deserted forest road. But the worst thing? It's winter. Snow drifts are huge, and the wind is freezing cold. Adam has to get to the nearest town, and fast. But if he follows the first path, he'll have to deal with hungry wolves. The second one goes through an area inhabited by bears. And if he takes the third road, he'll have to cross a river covered with thin ice. Which is the safest way? Adam should sneak through the bear's territory. These animals sleep in winter. Look at this picture. Which cage, in your opinion, is the safest? It's the last one. Even though a scorpion sting is painful, it's rarely life-threatening. The next tricky brain teaser for you. Can you figure out who has stolen her computer? It's definitely the girl on the right. Look at the strange shape her hoodie has taken. One of these girls is a wanted criminal. But which one? It's the one with dark hair. She has the same mole as the girl in the photo. Now there is something terribly wrong in this image. Can you figure out what it is? Look at that snowdrift near the cactus on the right. It's a desert. What is a snowdrift doing there? Look at these people and try to figure out who will divorce soon. Most likely, it will be the couple on the right. Have you noticed that the woman has secretly given a note with her phone number to the bartender? After a natural disaster, there was a blackout in Sam's town. Some criminals used darkness to kidnap the guy for ransom. The building where he was kept had three doors. Sam could use one of them to escape. But the first door hid a trap that would crush anyone as soon as they entered. Behind the second door, there were chainsaws that could cut anything into pieces in no time.
The flesh-eating acid was bubbling behind the third door. Which door should Sam choose? Chainsaws can't harm the guy because there's no electricity in the town, remember? Liza was a millionaire's daughter. She was fed up with her father trying to control her life, so she decided to run away from home. She took some money and the most discreet car she could find in the garage and left. The girl knew her father would send his people to bring her back. That's why she never stayed in one hotel for more than one night. One day, she found herself in a small town. It was getting dark, and she had no choice but to stop at the first hotel she saw. The receptionist said her room number was 710 and offered to show her where it was. Liza immediately grabbed her bag, ran out of the hotel, jumped in the car, and sped away. Why? The first digit of a hotel room number usually means the floor it's on. Room 710 is supposed to be on the seventh floor. But the hotel has only two floors. This must be a trap. A tourist who didn't speak English came up to the ticket counter at a New York subway station. One ticket cost 50 cents, and the man handed the ticketing clerk one dollar. The woman gave the tourist two tickets without even asking how many he needed. How did she know? The tourist gave her four quarters, and she immediately realized that if he needed just one ticket, he would have just given her two quarters. Ice melts when you heat it, but if you heat me, I'll become solid. Can you figure out what I am? I'm an egg. I'm weightless, but you can see me. And if you put me in a water bottle, it will become much lighter. What am I? Right you are. I'm a hole. After having had a fight with a powerful wizard, Louisa found herself trapped in a medieval castle, far away from civilization. She couldn't escape. Jumping out of the window was out of the question because it was too high above the ground. And the only tree growing next to that window wasn't sturdy enough for the girl to use it to climb down. At the same time, in the room where Louisa was locked, there were three doors. One of them could lead the girl to freedom, but behind the first door, a fire was raging. The second door held back hundreds of venomous snakes. And behind the third door, there was a maze filled with animal traps. Which door should Louisa choose to escape? Louisa should break off a tree branch, turn it into a torch by lighting it in the first room, and then going through the maze. It won't be dark anymore, and the girl will easily avoid the traps. Now, your task is to crack a few Rebus puzzles. Be very attentive and try to think outside yeah. the box. What does this mean? Right, that's Big Sister. How about this Rebus puzzle? The correct answer is right between the eyes. Look at this one. That's good afternoon. What can you fill if your hands are empty? Well, this is confusing. How can I fill anything if there's nothing in my hands? You'll probably be able to figure it out. And the correct answer is gloves or mittens if that's what you prefer.
Mr. Wilson's company had some financial problems. One day, the man called the police. He said someone had broken into his office. They stole my safe with all the money I had. The police officers who came to investigate this case asked the man why he was so sure that there had been several thieves. Well, my safe was too heavy for one person to carry. The police instantly realized Mr. Wilson was lying. How? If the safe had been indeed so heavy, it would have left some dents on the carpet. But the floor covering is perfectly smooth. Detective Martin was choosing a diamond ring for his fiance when a man in a black mask ran into the jewelry store. He made all the visitors lie on the floor and took the most expensive jewelry and money. After that, Detective Martin saw the man get on a red motorbike and speed away. The detective jumped into his car and set off on a chase. Soon, he came to a crossroads. Where should he go now? Suddenly, Martin saw a car coming from the opposite direction. He asked the driver if he'd seen the red bike. No, I've only seen a silver convertible. Then, the detective saw a gray car approach from the left. The woman inside said she hadn't seen the red bike, but she had seen a yellow bike and a group of cyclists. And the man who appeared from the right told Detective Martin he'd only noticed a large blue truck. Where is the robber? Yeah. The motorbike can only be inside the blue truck. 